This is my review of the Dell P2214H 22 inch LED lit IPS monitor. Starting with unpacking, the box is pretty small, smaller than I expected, and the packing quality is really solid. It's a bit tight, but that counts when it's being shipped. It feels really light, so let's examine that in more detail. The accessories it comes with are pretty standard. You have the display port cable, a USB peripheral cable for the monitor's built-in USB ports, a power cable, a VGI cable, which is a waste of plastic and manufacturing resources these days. This really should be a DVI cable. The rear back cover, which I will explore in more detail shortly. Installation instructions with the driver and documentation CD. And of course the monitor stand, which feels pretty sturdy, so let's see how the monitor fits on it. The screen is really light, so it's easy to snap right on, with no confusion whether it fits properly. Underneath the monitor, you have the power cable input source, the display port, DVI input, VGI input, USB output to the PC, and three USB 2.0 ports, which will be difficult to access once the plastic cover is on, and one loader to remidify that. The beautiful plastic cover that conceals the connectors fits right on, which is nice to have out of sight, but then again, no one really looks behind your desk, and it makes access to the input connections more difficult, especially the more frequently used USB ports. In general, the monitor looks pretty tidy, a clean sharp look from the back and front, nothing fancy. And that's all there is to the components and assembly. This monitor is fairly inexpensive, runs about $170 on Amazon or Newegg, and it comes with a fully adjustable stand which is uncommon for this price range. This was particularly important for my use case or if you intend to use the monitor in a vertical position. The screen is about 20 inches in width and 14 inches in height when attached to the stand, which makes it fairly small compared to all the 22 inch monitors, and as indicated, quite adjustable. Decent sturdiness, it won't shake with every bump on the table. The hole in the stand is intended to help with cable management, but it is a bit small. If you intend to use a DVI cable, I could not fit it in once I had a few cables running through it. Although quite light, the monitor doesn't have a cheap feel to it. I do enjoy its appearance, so it's time to turn it on and test its screen quality. On the right is the Dell P2214H and on the left an older Dell screen, my 2209 Ultra Sharp 22 inch screen, which for its time, going back about 5 years or so, was one of the better reviewed 22 inch IPS screens on the market, so I'll be using it as a reference. It is important to understand that these screens feature a different aspect ratio. Most people should be used to a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is more common for monitors, while the P2214H has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that is comparable to a typical television. This means the screen is much slimmer, and that's visible in the photos displayed on both screens. As far as the amount of real estate available, the slimmer P2214H has actually more of it, technically because it has a higher resolution, a full HD 1920x1080 or just 1080p, as opposed to many other 22-inch monitors that have a 1680x1050 resolution, including the one on the left. So although the physical size is smaller, you actually fit more content on the screen. That's important to consider when purchasing a new monitor, because higher resolution typically means higher pixel density, which equals to more real estate and a sharper picture. I intend to use this monitor in its vertical position, mostly for coding and reading news, so the use case plays a large impact when purchasing a monitor. 
far as the OSD controls and power buttons go, they feel fairly solid. I like how fast the monitor turns on, but the monitor control buttons do not light up, other than the power button. The OSD provides access to nearly all functions expected in today's monitors, from color settings to brightness controls, input selection, color settings, display settings, and etc., including the ability to change the aspect ratio to a more traditional 14x3 and 5x4 ratio. What I do like is the ability to control the USB power status during the monitor's power save mode. It can be turned on or off. The IPS panel has viewing angles of 178 degrees vertically and horizontally. I noticed no major color loss during normal use or when shifting my head to different positions. As far as gaming or watching movies go, a 22 inch is probably too small. I wouldn't use anything smaller than a 24 inch for gaming and personally use a 30 inch. But I did not notice any ghosting when playing games and no noticeable screen lag either. The latency is rated at 8ms for this screen, which is pretty good for an IPS panel. But what did stand out was the clarity and vibrance of colors, including fairly true blacks and whites, that particularly stood out when next to my older Dell. The out-of-the-box color calibration is surprisingly okay, but certainly should be adjusted for any photography work. And that completes my review of the Dell P2214H LED LED monitor. I don't have anything significantly negative to say about it. I like this screen, particularly the screen quality. Most monitors in this price range do not offer a fully adjustable stand, and in some cases aren't even an IPS panel. So to put it boldly, if I were in need of another 22-inch screen right now, this is what I would get. So I hope you have enjoyed my review of this monitor. Feel free to leave me some feedback, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.